And welcome back to GB Guns. Just cleaning up this beautiful piece of art of a rifle. We're back from the range with it. About to show you our range test. We didn't do our multi-mag on this thing because, well, this is probably not the kind of rifle where you're uh, worried about that. Uh, you will, however, see us group it at 100 yards with a couple different loads and then give you our shooting impressions. This was just a dream to shoot. Whoever wins this out of that raffle is going to be one lucky dog. I'm going to continue wiping this up and uh, let you get to watching the footage. I've got the honor of trying out the Hurricane Rifle put together by Axis and Tactical and supported by Hurricane Group media and Cabela's. We want to thank first our sponsors that made this shooting possible. Large donation from Nazar, our friends here in Oregon. Also some from Prime and over at Freedom Munitions they sent us a variety of different 6.5 pre-bore loads. Now this rifle has a carbon fiber handguard and a carbon fiber barrel guaranteeing sub MOA accuracy which is putting a lot of pressure on us because we don't always shoot that well but we have our stinger rest and our target camera set up we're gonna try 10 shot groups which is looking at mode accuracy anyone can shoot three shots well some can shoot five shots well shooting 10 shots between two different shooters five from Erica and five from myself gives us an idea of what the mode accuracy is of what you can generally expect with a warm to hot barrel that load and that rifle so that's what we're going to be getting at today. We have from Prime some 130 grain, from Nosler 140 grain, and thanks to our friends at Freedom Munitions, some Hornady Match 120 grain and 147 grain. So four different weights, four different loads. Each will get its own target, and we'll see how it groups. All right, starting off right. with our 120 grain ELD match from Hornby. That'll be the upper left corner. Next group will be with prime 130 grain in the upper right. Now stepping up and wait, we've got Nozzler's 140 grain, uh. lower left target. Our fourth group, courtesy of Freedom Munitions, is some Hornady match in 147 grain. It'll be at the lower right target. So looking at our four groups for mode accuracy, it looks like you can expect some pretty good results out of this. Now keep in mind this is from two different shooters, hot barrel, 
10 shots total per ammo type. The 147 grain, I'd say I didn't like too much, but the 120 through 30, pretty good. So I hadn't shot 6.5 cream more prior to this. Um, all I know is it's super long range, super fast. Um, I don't know if I want to say I was a little nervous, but this definitely is super easy to shoot. You could go out and work on this all day long in your accuracy, whatever. Um, and with this, you're going to get a lot of good feedback. So um, aside from the awesome aesthetics, there's some cool stuff. Everything's comfortable within reach. This has got some nice tack to it. Uh, you got a little bit of love back here for the shooting side of it. Not that you necessarily need it because that break is working really well. Um, but kudos. It's, it's quite an awesome piece of work. Axelson Tactical put together a piece of art and it shoots like a piece of art. Um, as beautiful as it is, so is it in the shoulder. Um, their break incredibly effective, the stock very comfortable. The trigger, which Erica said she'd forgot to mention while she was behind the gun, uh, watch this. So obviously the firearm is clear. We have a wee bit of take up and it breaks. <laughs> that was a little too much. Hold on. Take up to a wall and then a clean break. Phenomenal trigger. 6.5 Freemore is very pleasant to shoot. Uh, whoever ends up winning this gun is going to be a very lucky shooter indeed. Uh, it's certainly capable of, uh, well, I think it's more capable than pretty much any shooter out there. Uh, fully loaded, all the features one could ever dream for in a gun, and painted be beautifully, put together for a good cause. So I hope you enjoyed that and you got an idea of what this thing's capable of. It's obviously capable of more than we are as shooters, uh, but was so smooth and pleasant to shoot. And uh, if you saw our tabletop review, I was wondering if this JP bolt would just wipe clean easily. It pretty much did. That's awesome. So, to whoever wins this, congratulations. One heck of a rifle, built for a great cause. Our results, we probably could have shot better, but uh, we did what we could in the lighting we had, and you're seeing it as we ran it. Nikon Black 4-16 to power on there. Nothing super magical. Certainly not as magical as this rifle was. Thanks for watching.